Now, Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, has officially announced the appointment of the country's new prime minister on Friday. The job was given to Chen Xianzhen, who served as Taiwan's vice president between 2016 and 2020. Chen's appointment comes as part of a cabinet reshuffle due to losses of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party in last year's local elections. The rest of the new cabinet is expected to be announced next week. For more on this, we're joined by DW correspondent Cha Chun Ye in Taipei. So, what does this mean for Taiwan politically? Right. And just as you said, that uh, Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen has appointed former Vice President Chen Jianren as new Premier today. And, uh, you know, this is a very uh, key step for the ruling party to change. I mean, uh, this cabinet reshuffle is very important because last November, the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, the uh, so-called DPP, which is seen as an independence-leaning party, suffered its biggest ever defeat in local polls. And Taiwan is going to have its presidential election in early um, 2024. Whether the DPP will remain in power could be a um, you know, decisive factor in China's next moves towards Taiwan. So the new premier, um, he needs to save the DPP's sliding support within a year to make sure it will not lose again to the opposition, Kuomintang Party, the KMT, which is traditionally seen as a pro-China one. Okay, well, what do these changes uh, mean for Taiwan's relations with China. Are any changes expected there? Right. Um, this cabinet reshuffle comes amid Taiwan's growing tensions with China. But, you know, so far we see no reaction from China. It's really hard to say at this moment if it's going to change anything with China. But it's worth noting that compared to his uh, predecessor, Su Zhenchang, New Premier Chen Jianren is a more soft-spoken person with a um, low-key political profile. Su has been critical of China. Last August, as Beijing launched large-scale uh, large military exercises around Taiwan, Su once condemned China as an evil neighbor. But it seems difficult for many in Taiwan to imagine Chen to say similar words. But still, we can see uh, Taiwan's efforts to contain China through this new team. Let's say Deputy Foreign Minister Tsai Ming-yen. He has been tapped to become the new head of the National Security Bureau. And Tsai Ming-yen, he has um, previously served as um, an advisor at the Ministry of National Defense and the Mainland Affairs Council. And the government would like to rely on his expertise to assist uh, in interpretation and precise decision making for the situation with mm. China and in the region. DW correspondent Cha Chun Ye in Taipei. Thank you very much.